Hi, this is the Wacky Worms edition of Keys Moz. This is David Fine. You know what, in this day and age, to be discovering new butterflies and moths in urban South Florida, I mean, right behind me, I got a major road. I mean, this is not in some kind of hammock somewhere. This is in residential South Florida, and we've got new butterflies. The pink spot sulfur, a Frissa nellis, uh, was just recently discovered uh, just a few years ago, and we're gonna look for some eggs and caterpillars today. I think you're gonna like this episode. Check it out. In 2011, Andy Warren and John Calhoun published a paper describing the difference between a first the Statira, the Statira sulfur, which is common throughout South Florida, and this new pink spot sulfur that looks much like it, a Frissa nellis. Now, uh, one of the big differences, is, and probably the easiest way to tell them apart, is their host plant association. Statira feeds on coin vine, which we have in the backyard, and there's plenty of Statira around, but this plant, Lysoloma sabiku, or horse flesh mahogany, is the known, now confirmed host plant of Afrissa nellis. And what I did was a year or two ago, I planted this little uh, Lysoloma tree in my yard with hopes of finding a pink spot sulfur. And I found a couple eggs uh, from time to time. And finally, after all this time, I came out the other day and found this fresh peppering of these white cream colored little eggs of Afrissa uh, Nellis all over the new growth. And they like the nice new, new growth. I mean, they lay their eggs right in the little tips of this reddish growth. When they first lay their eggs, the eggs are white. And um, as they develop o over a couple days, they start to turn orange. Uh, eggs hatch within about three or four days into a little green caterpillar. So the caterpillars of the pink spot sulfur are green with this yellow dorsal line or a lateral line on each side of the, uh, of the caterpillar, going up and down the caterpillar. And they eat just the newest, newest little fresh growth on the tips. Uh, once the leaves turn uh, hard, they won't touch it. So uh, if raising them is a little bit of a challenge if you're gonna try and raise them in captivity because you need to keep cutting these nice little uh, new little leaflets here or the caterpillars won't eat it, they'll get sick and they'll die. Uh, so we've raised them now. The, the pupa looks identical to Statira. It's a beautiful, beautiful camouflage example because those, those pupa, uh, they blend right into their environment. You'd never see them at all. Now, uh, after about 12 days, the pupa emerge and now we've got our fresh Lee Emerge butterfly, and this is pretty exciting because uh, now we get to see the uh, up close and personal difference between Afrissa statira and Nellis. So I was kind of curious as to how on earth I've lived in South Florida all these years and I've never run, a, run across a pink spot sulfur. So I went and looked at my old collection and I, I was actually surprised to find back in two, uh, 1992, I had a freshly emerged female specimen of the pink spot sulfur in my in my cloudless sulfur uh, little box there. And so it was mixed in and I, I thought it was different looking so I must have kept it, but it turns out it was a whole new species and I had one all along. So I, what I wanted to do was tell you the difference between the pink spot sulfur and some of its closely related cousins. Now, the female pink spot sulfur is probably a little bit easier to tell apart than Statira and the cloudless sulfur. The pink spot sulfur female on the dorsal side the forewing has this really big, deep, dark black spot in, you know, in the middle of the forewing. Very, very unique. The Statira has the same spot, but it's a lot smaller. And the, and the yellow on the pink spot sulfur female is usually a lot brighter in yellow. The Statira sulfurs are typically a lot paler in color. Also, on the, on the, on the outer margin of the wing, the female has these really pronounced black checkered spots down the outside of the wing, uh, very pronounced. Uh, Statira has it as well, Sene have it as well, but the pink spot sulfur is very pronounced. Now on the underside, the pink spot sulfur differs from Statira female because it has these two very 
brightly colored silver spots on the dorse on the ventral hind wing. And of course, where it gets its name, the pink spot sulfur, on, only on fresh specimens, right on the ventral uh, hind wing, where the hind wing attaches to the thorax of the butterfly, there is some pink scaling. It makes a little pink spot, and that is visible on the females. Now for the males, males are a lot more difficult to tell apart. That they look almost identical to Statira males. Now, the, the ventral side, same thing, almost impossible to tell apart, except on fresh specimens on the pink spot sulfur, right where the hind wing attaches to the thorax, you can see that little pink spot. Same thing as the female. The only difference is, uh, and it's kind of inconsistent, uh, is that Statira has this nice pale cream colored patch on the outside on the forewing and that kind of intrudes into the discal cell of the forewing whereas on Nilis it doesn't do that the the entire discal cell is completely that deep uh, yellow coloration so those are pretty much the differences and very very tough to tell apart unless you have the specimens and you're studying them in a laboratory but uh, it's been a great pleasure to raise this bug uh, and, and show you guys the differences between some beautiful butterflies that we have right in our backyards. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We have a great website. Uh, it's www.keysmoz.com. Give us a like if you like this video, if you find it helpful. We've got a ton more Wacky Worms videos coming out. We would love it if you subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the little subscription. There's a little bell down there. Click the bell. That makes sure that we'll get you notifications every time we put out a new video. So until next time, guys, let's get out there. Enjoy South Florida.